Let's talk about Wikipedia. I want to pose a question. Is Wikipedia the single most important site on the whole internet? Now think about that. Is there a more important single site? A lot of people might say Google. But Google links to sites. It doesn't really contain a lot of information in an, on its own. If I search for something like Winston Churchill, it's going to find a lot of other sites that have information about Winston Churchill. Google doesn't actually have any of this information on its own servers. But look at this. The first article is on Wikipedia. And the photo, the biggest photo right there, is also on the Wikipedia page for Winston Churchill. So most searches that you do on Google, the very first link, which Google thinks is the most important, will almost always be Wikipedia. Let me show you how Wikipedia works behind the scene if you've never really looked. There's a tab right here that says View History, and here you can see every revision that's ever been made on every article. So this is the Winston Churchill article. You can see it was edited about a week ago. Now, Winston Churchill died more than 50 years ago, so there's not a, a lot of new information about him. So it's not surprising that it's not edited very often. This article was created in 2001, right after Wikipedia was started. And in fact, this is what the original article looked like. Just so you can see, it's gone from a page of some facts to many pages with pictures, etc. Now, up next to the article tab is the talk tab. Every article has one of these. And this is where people talk about what the article was made of, how they can make it better, things that might be considered for the article or might be considered to take out of the article. And there's always a section where people are talking about these in detail. And as they come to conclusions about them, you see, like in this one, it says they're closing the discussion on a certain item. Now back to the present day article. Notice there is a lock on this article. That means you have to be a valid Wikipedia account holder to edit this article. If you're not logged in, like I'm not logged in right now, you cannot edit this page. Now it's easy to get an account. All you have to do is give them a valid email address, verify that email address, and you have an account. If I hop over to Barack Obama's page, you can see it's locked, but I edit this page because I have a valid account. And down in the family and personal life section, I added the fact that our president is left-handed. Notice I also found a reference, an external resource that said he was left-handed. And in reference number 391, there is a link to a New York Times article explaining that he's left-handed and he signs all his official documents with his left hand. There are 421 references to this article about our president. And that number will grow because he's going to be around for a long time even after he's uh, no longer the president. And the references will continue to grow as he continues uh, life in the public. And the thing is, on Wikipedia, there are rules. For instance, you cannot have original research. There has to be an article out there that can be used as a reference. No original research allowed. Also, anyone or anything in a, a Wikipedia article has to be notable. Let me give you an example. Uh, this is a University of Finley page for Brad Peel. Uh, I had him in a class. In fact, now he's a, a teacher. He is from New Knoxville, Ohio. It is a fact that Brad Peel played on the University of Finley basketball team, and he is from New Knoxville, Ohio. And New Knoxville, Ohio has a page. And notice it's not locked. So even though I'm not logged in, I can get to the Edit tab. And down on this page, there is a section for notable people from New Knoxville. So on September 30th, 2010, at about 1.38 PM, I edited the notable uh, resident section. And this is what that old page looks like. Remember, I can look at any old page. And in that section, you can see I added Brad to the list of notable natives and residents. The thing is, approximately three minutes later, 
someone removed Brad from the page, stating it was being removed because he was not notable. I want to talk about a book I read a few years back called The Wisdom of Crowds. In fact, if you've never read this book, hop out to Wikipedia and read the synopsis uh, on Wikipedia. The Wisdom of Crowds uh, makes a case that the average of a lot of people about any subject is usually correct. And that is how Wikipedia determines who's notable and who's not notable. There are a lot of people who are editing articles and the wisdom of the crowd prevails. There's a lot on Wikipedia. You could look at this year's Republican primary presidential uh, election and you could compare that to, let's say, 100 years ago in 1916 when this guy ran for president. If you don't know who that is, it's Henry Ford. Not only is every notable person throughout history already on Wikipedia, there are fictitious people with lots of information written about them, including their complete family lineage. And all of this happens with absolutely no advertising. So is Wikipedia uh, reliable? I just ask you to find something in Wikipedia that's not correct.